All right, everybody. Uh, Rosie's cooking in the background, so you might hear, and Zeke might want my attention. So I might have that, but um, challenge, lifestyle challenge. Um, I'm still calling it the Warhorse Challenge. This will be number three or four. I don't remember. Um, war horse is there's a meaning to it um, a war horse is a person who is like experienced um, and we've been doing this for a while we're pretty experienced so I like calling it that um, so what it is um, I'm redoing this video because I have a video up you can find it. It's still a decent video, but I was talking about nutrition first, and then I talk about the challenge after, and I didn't really like that. Um, thanks to somebody in the audience who asked the question, what is this all for? And it's like, oh yeah, I should talk about the challenge first, not nutrition. So two videos, well, three videos. Um, this one will be what the challenge is. This is the first video. And then accompanying video will be, uh, I'll screen record myself logging my results so you can see how to get it in SugarWad because it's not super straightforward. There's not a great way to track this. We've tried a few ways and I think this will be pretty good. Um, so what it is. The challenge will be five weeks long. It starts on Monday, April 24th. And ends technically the Sunday before Memorial Day. It'd be at midnight that night. M midnight the morning of Memorial Day. However you want to think about it. So it would go till... I'm just going to put Monday, May 29th. That's Memorial Day. And we always do an event for Memorial Day. One day I'm going to, probably not. One day I would like to be able to do graphics and stuff, but this is what you get right now. So... We do an event on Memorial Day, Memorial Day Murph. Uh, we like to maybe grill out or do something special that day. So, or go out to somewhere to eat. Um, so that's a good end of the event. And it's also the start of summer. And in the winter here, we tend to hibernate. I know I do. And Easter just happened, and Easter candy is my weakness. So it's nice to have a little get back into it challenge. Um, I'm not big into build your beach body now thing or whatever, but I'm more into in the summer we have Murph. And then we do the Cooley Trail Classic, and we do a lot of running outside, and we do a lot of fun stuff on the track. Um, that's that's me. Um, some people do actual fun stuff where they go to the lake and water ski or play summer sports. So it's nice to kind of get back on track before the summer to do the things that you want to do. I don't, I'm not into the whole aesthetic beach body thing because I think aesthetics comes with performance so this is more about performance doing what you want to do in the summer um, so those are the dates Monday April 24th to Monday May 29th and that's the why that's why I want to do this um, so the what I'm changing it a little bit but the four, four of the markers stay the same. I'm going to write them just down here as I go. First one is nutrition. Nutrition. My thoughts on nutrition are there is 
many goals and many paths to those goals. So I don't think there is one better nutrition plan than any other. I do not write diet plans. I don't believe in them. Um, and I frankly don't have time to nutrition coach people, especially for free. <laughs> so um, I have a few recommendations. I will talk about that in the other video and then walk you through calculating one method of finding your daily calories. But to keep it short here, um, there's a lot of options if you want to work with a coach that is great probably the best way to do it if that's something that you need um, calculating your macronutrient requirements or your daily calorie needs is another great option um, the whole 30 is I think the greatest option besides counting macros and weighing food um, I've seen it work for people and I think it's great and I think the principles behind it are great. Um, and there's others, um, but I'm going to stop there with this part of this video. Nutrition is the number one. Um, and you will just, you'll see in the other video, but every day you will just check off nutrition. Did you meet your nutrition goal? Yes or no. Tap the box for yes. Don't tap the box for no. Boom. Attendance. Um, I think I put it as attendance in the sugar rod tracking, but I want to call it activity. Activity. Because um, ideally, yes, it's attendance, a class in my gym, our gym. But people travel. Um, Maybe a class time doesn't work. Maybe you are training for a marathon and coming to class does not work for you. Um, every day you're using it to supplement three times a day, three times a week, and you're running five days a week. So you want to track that too. I am completely fine with that. Just be honest with yourself and us. Um, did you do? either a CrossFit class, if you want to include yoga, I typically don't because I use yoga for recovery, but if you use yoga for activity, you can include that. If you play intramural basketball and you want to include that as your activity for the day, do that. Uh, softball games, that's fine too. Um, other stuff, if you have questions of any of this, just let me know, email us. But basically, common sense, right? Don't try to cheat the system. There's no point. Um, and if you have questions, ask. So activity number two. Number three, recovery. So recovery means what my benchmark, bottom line is, is Seven and a half hours of sleep a night. Um, what I mean by that is lights out, attempting to sleep for seven and a half hours minimum. I push that to the minute often, and that's fine. Uh, if you are, of course, we want to sleep more than that or what our body requires. Um, resting, recovering for seven and a half hours. Um, and here's the thing where I get a lot of people ask, well, what if um, the baby wakes up? What if my kids wake up? What if my dog wakes me up? What if I just didn't sleep well that night? The point is you tried. Um, if you didn't get it, it was beyond your control. You made an honest effort. You didn't turn your lights off and then watch TV for another 45 minutes. You didn't turn the lights off and use your phone for another 45 minutes. Um, you didn't get up in the middle of the night and use your phone for 45 minutes. Um, seven and a half hours, good, honest effort sleeping for the night. 
and just use use your um, better judgment. I don't like saying this, but I'm going to anyway. I know there are people who I believe, because they have told me and I believe them, that they do not need that seven and a half hours. Um, and it probably makes sense. Everybody's a little different. So if you legitimately know that you do not need that seven and a half hours every night, use your judgment and, and do what you think is right, if you're being honest with yourself. Yeah, that's it for there. I do want to talk about caffeine here. Um, how much, I'm at 10 minutes right now. I'll be quick. So one thing I hear from people is I can drink caffeine and go right to sleep, no problem. I don't think they are lying. However, it is not good, restful, restorative sleep. So... If this isn't a requirement of the challenge by any means, but try avoiding caffeine eight hours before sleep. Technically, it's six hours before sleep, but let's, you know, use our better judgment and say eight hours before sleep. I tend to go to bed at about nine o'clock, and I try to not have caffeine after noon, high noon. So think about that. Mobility is the next one. I'm flexible with this one too. Mobility. 20 minutes a day. Um, if you have an app, there are many now and they change their names, so I don't remember what they are. I used to be a Ramod guy, but it's not Ramod anymore. Um, do that every day. There's videos on YouTube that you can do. There's books on stretching that you can do. You can roll, you can stretch, you can move, you can do whatever you think is helping your mobility. You got to do it 20 minutes a day though. I think that's reasonable. You can watch an episode of Rick and Morty or South Park and work on mobility every night. Make 20 minutes a day for that. Maybe it's in the morning. I do it at night, so that's what our, my brain goes. Maybe you wake up and you stretch in the morning before your daily thing. Um, 20. If you want to even split it up, 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes at night, I'm okay with that. The thing that I think is kind of a, maybe people are joking about it. When we warm up and we stretch for a total of two minutes, can I use this for my mobility? If you think that's the right decision and the intent of the challenge, which it's not, yeah, sure, count those two minutes and do 18 minutes later. It shouldn't be a chore. It should be something that you want to do to better yourself. Yeah, okay. So here's where the changes happen. Those are your daily recording. I did it. I didn't do it. Simple checkbox. Yes, no. Weekly. An individual goal. Simple yes or no here too. It'll be on Sundays from that previous Monday to Sunday. Did you meet your personal goal? I changed this from daily because I like having a daily goal. Read 20 minutes a day was one. I, I did breathing exercises every day. That was another. Um, and there's others. Some people like drinking water as one. Um, and I like having the daily goal. However, I think there are valid weekly goals that I was missing. So maybe you want to work on your swimming and you swim three times a week. Did you stick to that? I'm okay with that. Count it. It's only a point. But I want, maybe I'll, well, it's a yes or no. This one's not really being scored. Um, if I did a score to it, I would weight it. That would probably be worth like five points. Um, but that's what I, my intention there. 
Um, it should be challenging. It should be something that you can track weekly or daily. Um, and it should be like multiple occurrences or multiple occurrences of you not doing something. Quitting smoking, giving up alcohol. Um, those would be good options too. So, individual goal can be literally whatever you want as long as it's a challenge to you and you can track it weekly. Okay. The other one, progress. Tracking. You can, so progress tracking you can do just about any like kind of valid tracking method. It can be as simple as stepping on a scale and weighing yourself once a week. Um, it can be taking pictures. I like that because especially if you are um, losing weight um, and gaining muscle, they might kind of counterbalance. And if you're focused on the number on the scale, it's going to be disheartening if you are not moving that number when you want to. But if you look at the progress pictures for the five weeks, you see a change that is very encouraging. So I like the scale. Um, or I like the photos, sorry. Uh, both are great, scale and photos. Um, you can take your body measurements. That would be good. Uh, you can, yeah, uh, tape measurements. I'm trying to think of what else. Those would be your major ones. Um, once a week, do that, record it, check yes or no if you did it or not. And that's a challenge. 17 minutes longer than I wanted. That's okay. I think it's good information. If you have any questions, email me. And I will do my best to answer it. And that's one thing, last thing before I go. One thing, so we're not charging for this challenge. We might in the future. We have in the past. I threw this together. I've been thinking about it for a couple weeks, but I threw it together yesterday. Um... And I want this to be more about making healthy choices than, you know, I collect 20 bucks and do a prize or something, um, which is tough. When people, when you put money to it, there is um, skin in the game, but when you are a resource for people as a group, I mean... Um, when you're in this with a group of people, you have skin in the game. Um, you have uh, the coaches as a resource to answer any questions you might have. So we're not charging. And I want, so I want you to post, I'm gonna, if you do social media post, um, what you like, what you don't like, your challenges, your successes, I want you to ask questions. Please email us questions um, about anything in this challenge health-related. Please. That's what I want. That's the payment. Come up with one question each over five weeks, and I would be happy. That would be, judging from the past, 20 questions. And I can do a video or a post and answer those questions. That's what I would like. That is it. Watch for two more videos coming up. Thanks.